What's up, Mimos? Hey, I just got back from seeing the monkey movie. <laughs> the movie all about prepositions, the dawn of the rise of the planet of the A. <laughs> No, Dawn of the Planet of the Ape. It was really good. I really like this this Ape series, the new Ape series, and I can't wait for the next installment because this one ended, of course, with the possibility of another one. <laughs> the thing about these movies now is that the, the CGI in them is just so incredible. You, it's just, you're immersed in it. I forget that these apes that I'm watching are, you know, motion capture and CGI and the, the facial expressions are just so real and I, you just get caught up in it. It's very, it was very gripping. And plus, it all takes place in, in San Francisco and Marin. And there, here's one thing I know about the future when, when the ape revolution begins is that they're all gonna live right here in Marin County. <laughs> <laughs> and the humans are going to live in San Francisco, so I don't know, just a little warning. Did you guys like the Adirondack Chair Project? That was really fun. I mean, despite the fact that I kind of had some problems with it. And it was really strange how those problems arose because with my plans, sometimes I, I really am serious about my spatial, spatial reasoning skills aren't really that good. And I kind of turn things around in my head and even after I attached the, the arm braces to that Adirondack chair, it's still, my brain was still telling me it was fine. That's the way it, it, it was <laughs> until I got to the point where I realized it was, it was just backwards. But I got it all straightened out and despite all that, I was really surprised on how simple it is to build an Adirondack chair. There's not a whole lot to it and it's kind of nice because the, the seat is actually the back legs too, so it's an easy chair to make in, in that regard. And I've had a couple of people ask me to make the ottoman that goes with it. And after I built this, I thought about that. I thought I should have probably done that all at the same time. So I don't know if I'll make a separate video of that or not. I was kind of thinking about doing that for this week's project, but I don't know if that's really a wise move or not because it's really, it would just be a continuation of this week's project. So I don't know, but it was fun getting back into my shop because it was the first project I built in a few weeks since the, uh, the I think the, bar stool was the last project I built. I felt rusty. Are you guys going to woodworking in America? I know I've asked you about this before, but it's coming up here pretty soon in just less than a couple of months. It starts on September 12th. It's in North Carolina. So if you're going, let me know because I, I sent out a little feeler on Facebook and Twitter asking if people would be interested in going to a meetup. I was calling it the Mega Mimo Meetup. <laughs> And I think that would be really fun. And I was really surprised by the the response I got. To. I put up a quick little poll and it was like 26 people were said, yes, we're there definitely. And that was way more than I thought. Or I thought maybe just a handful of people would definitely be able to make that. So with 26 people from Facebook already confirmed, we'll probably even get more. So I'll start looking around for the, uh, around the convention center there in Salem, North Carolina, not the witches Salem. This is a different Salem. It looks like there's a bar, bar and grill right near the convention center. So I think that would be cool on that Saturday night. We could just all meet up there. I'll probably have to call them first to make sure that's cool if we just have like a lot of us show up there. So that should be really fun. And I'd love to hear from you if you can make it there for certain. Woodworking in America is kind of expensive, you know, if you want to go to all the classes and all that stuff. But I think you could just go to like the show floor for like a dollar. <laughs> Well, popular woodworking is not gonna do anything for a dollar. But it, maybe like $15 or something, you could just go to the show floor. And if you don't wanna do that, you could even, if you happen to be in Salem, Winston-Salem, I forget the Winston part. I don't know, I think it's Salem. But if you happen to be in Winston-Salem, North Carolina on September 13th, I guess would be when the meetup is. Um, just show up for that, you know, and I'll give you more details as we get nearer to that. I think it'll be a lot of fun. I'll try to bring some, some prizes. I'll, I got some buttons and maybe a couple t-shirts or something. Oh, I got new shirts in the wood shop bay. Go check those out. I'm gonna try to get shirts out more regularly. My son's working on them with me and so we're, we're trying to get more and more of those out. But check them out if you haven't been to the wood shop in a while and get some t-shirts. I'm gonna try to do an Ask Mimo this week. So if you have any questions, please Ask them now over on Twitter, hashtag Ask Mimo. And I haven't looked through that in a while, but I'm sure there's already a lot of questions on there. So ask yours and I'll, I'll see if I can get it in. Are a lot of you doing woodworking? It's, I get the impression that a lot of people aren't doing woodworking in the summertime because there's so many other activities going on. And a lot of people, it's just really hot to do woodworking in the summertime. Let me know, leave a comment down below if this is like a prime woodworking time for you or if this is kind of the off season for you. Hmm. 
Can't think of really anything else this week, so this will be a short mere minute. <laughs> like, let's recap. Let's recap what we've we've discussed here today. We had the we had the, the monkey movie, which was really good. It was really good. Go see the monkey movie. And we talked a little bit about the Adirondack chair. An Adirondack chair. And oh, Woodworking in America. Not the witches, Salem. So the Mega Mimo meetup. I hope you can make it there. That's it for now. I'll talk to you later.